Hi friends, today I will tell you everything you need to know about the rebar cover in concrete constructions. The concrete cover in Revit is a property of the structural host and is the internal offset of a concrete host. When placing rebars inside the concrete host, it will snap to the concrete cover, ensuring that bars will be protected from corrosion when fitted on site. To see the rebar cover for each concrete object, go to Structure tab and press the Cover tool. When I zoom in, you will, you will be able to see a green dotted line that is offset from the concrete surface, and that is the rebar cover. For some, the line might be a bit hard to see, so you can edit the appearance of the cover lines for the entire project. We do this, go to Manage, Object Styles, Annotation Objects tab. We find the rebar cover references category and edit the line weight, color and pattern. Let's make the line pink and solid, so it's easy for us to see the rebar cover line. When changing the solid, we hit Apply and OK. And back to the section view, we press the cover tool once again, and now it's much easier to see the rebar cover lines. It's also possible to make it thicker and even more visible. Next, we want to change the cover. We do that, press the object, go to the properties menu and find the structural tab. Here you have the option to change the exterior, interior and other faces for the wall. We click one of them and the drop down menu will appear. As of now, it's only one option here, but next I'm going to add and assign some rebar covers. This is done from the structural tab and the reinforcement menu. We expand the fly out and click on the rebar cover settings. The rebar cover settings is a simple dialog where you can add all the different covers you need for the project. I will add three different rebar covers that correspond to the national rules, the Norwegian national rules. When I hit OK, you could see the rebar shape adjust to the updated rebar cover. To show that the rebar shapes snap to the rebar covers, let's do some quick math. So the total width is 900 mm. The rebar cover is set to 35 mm, meaning the rebar length is 830 30 mm. And that is correct. Let's test changing the bot rebar cover to 50 mm and see what happens. So the rebar shape changes shape when toggling between 35 and 50 mm. Another way to edit the rebar cover for a concrete object is to press the cover tool and then in the top left corner there are two small buttons. When pressing the first one and selecting the concrete object in a 3D view, you have the option to change the rebar cover for the entire object. Let's set it to 50 mm and go to the properties menu to see if it is indeed changed the rebar covers for all selected faces. Yes, it did. I do this one more time and change the cover to 75 mm. And as you can see, the pink lines that represent the rebar cover for all for our wall have been adjusted. So the other button will be more specific. With this tool, you will be able to change one selected surface rebar cover. So I press it and select one of the surfaces and change only this cover. And as you can see, the rebar shame's shape adjusted with its cover. The rebar cover settings can of course be changed in your model over time, but experience shows that this can disrupt your rebars and mess up your rebar schedules. So I recommend to set all rebar covers before placing any rebars in the object. The last task I will do is to place out a U-shaped rebar in our wall to see how the rebar acts. You can clearly see the snapping function in action, making it easier to get the correct rebar dimensions. And that concludes this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe for more extremely fun videos. Thank you for watching.